Satanam. So this meditation makes, okay, I'll tell you my story about it, okay? <laughs> I had done many meditations for a thousand days, but I hadn't done it consciously. So I asked my teacher, Yogi Bhajan, for a thousand day meditation. Now, those of you that know about this know that that means a thousand consecutive days, right? So it's a pretty big conscious commitment. And he gave me this meditation called Sudarshan Chakra Kriya. And I thought, okay, for two and a half hours a day. So I did it for two weeks. And I think I hated about 90% of the time I was doing it. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I hate this meditation. So knowing my teacher and how he could read us, I waited three months. And then I went back and I asked him for a thousand day meditation. And he just looked at me and gave me the exact same meditation. So I said, okay, I need to make peace with this meditation. And I'm gonna tell you just some of the things that this meditation is good for. It's good for what you're doing is you're clearing out your whole subconscious part of your body, right? And in the place of that, clearing out, because you're pumping, pumping and nothing like pumping to just clear everything out, but you're pumping in new energy, you're pumping waheguru, that sound of <clears throat> magnificent ecstasy in, right? Uh, you're not gonna have to do it for two and a half hours, but I would start out with 11 minutes and add a minute a day until you get to 31 minutes and really work with it because you get rid of father phobias, you get rid of all male phobias in your life that don't work for you. You get rid of everything that you've, all the gunk in your subconscious and it gets you really clear because your intestinal tract, which you're pumping in this and your diaphragm, your emotional body attaches into your diaphragm your intestinal tract and your brain are the most similar organs. So when you eat and you're constipated and you're gunked up, you get headaches, you're just not fun and connected and, you know, you want to die. But when you die to the past knowingness and beliefs and experiences that you've had with your whole male lineage, you get to create a new projection in life because that's what the male is. The projection, the organization, the discipline, the, you know, the external connectivity. And it's amazing. You just lose so much crud, <laughs> psychic, spiritual, physical crud. All right. This will make you hot. If you're doing it right, you are going to get hot. But you still want to, when you meditate, you want to cover your crown so that you actually keep that energy in. You don't give it away. And you want to cover your shoulders often. Okay, so this is how you do this. Magical meditation. Somebody the other day was doing this whole big thing about magical meditation, and I thought, so I asked them what, what one it was, and it's not this one, but this one's really magical because it releases so much crap from the past. You're going to inhale through your left nostril, your feminine, receptive, you know, magical, mystical, you're going to hold the breath in while you're holding it in silently, not out loud. You're going to do Waheguru. You're going to do 16 Wahegurus, but it's 48 pumps. So it's Waheguru, 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 then you exhale out the right nostril. Okay. So while you're pumping, all the stuff that gets pumped up, you get to release it out the right, the male projective side of your body. Okay. I'm going to do it out loud for you for the first few times, just so that you get in the rhythm and you don't feel like you have to keep track. But you can keep track on your fingers, right? 15 digits and you can just have one right at the end with the 16. And this is a meditation that was given, and it's in the city Guru Granth Sahib, and I can't remember what guru this was given to, but it's a really profound and amazing meditation to just die to the fear of that which holds us, which is encoded in our subconscious 
part of your body, subconscious part of your, because that's what runs you. That's what runs your life, okay? So let your left or right hand, whichever one you're not going to be using, be in Gyan Mudra, palm up on your knee. Use the other one to inhale. You're going to focus at your third eye. You're going to inhale deeply. I'm going to say it out loud. You're going to say it silently. And you're going to pump with each sound. Wah, hey, guru. 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 Exhale out your right nostril. And inhale powerfully through your left. I'm gonna do it out loud another couple times. Wah hey guru, 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 wah hey guru. Exhale powerfully out your right nostril. Inhale deeply through the left. Take it all in so you can just release it. Wah hey guru, 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 wah hey guru. Exhale out your right nostril. And I'm just going to do it two cycles with you silently. Inhale deeply. Inhale, inhale. And remember each part, the wa, the hey, and the guru, each get a pump. And exhale out your right nostril. Inhale deeply. And just sit quietly for a moment. And exhale and just bow. So this will really give you great abdominal muscles as well, right? So you get to release the past. What's not to love? What's not to love? Okay. You may hate it. I've had more people that have hated this meditation, but just do it. You will fall in love. I still do it every day. It's That's how deeply I fell in love. So fall in love and let the things that do not love you back fall away from you. It's fall. Blessings.